here they are giving a circuit and they are asking what is the function which is represented by this circuit now for this kind of question you don't actually need to solve these questions because if you have done enough practice if you uh, solved uh, the previous year questions as well as if you have studied the subject thoroughly then you directly know this circuit is representing the exclusive or or xor but for the su for some students who do not understand i'm just trying i'm just going to solve these equations and i'm going to give you an answer for this question or you can say for this problem now we'll see from here what is the output given by this nand gate this is a nand gate this is a nand gate this is nand gate sorry this is or nor gate not nar nand gate this is a nor gate nor gate nor gate and this is a or gate the output of this nor gate will be x plus y whole complement the output of this nor gate will be x plus x plus y whole complement complement the output of this nor gate will be x y plus we can say it like this it is y plus x plus y complement whole complement and the output of this function will be x plus x plus y whole complement complement plus y plus x plus y whole complement complement now you can open uh, these comp these bracket these complements by implying the de morgan's law we are going to apply de morgan's laws so this can be written as x complement dot x plus y whole complement complement plus this can be written as y complement dot x plus y whole complement complement which can be further written as x complement dot x plus y plus y complement dot x plus y if you open the brackets so this can be written as x complement dot x plus x complement dot y plus y complement dot x plus y complement dot y and this is zero this is also representing zero so this equation can be x complement dot y plus y complement dot x which is x xor y so this is this complete circuit is just representing an exclusive or or you can say xor therefore the option number one is correct in this case okay